What's up guys? We're here at the front door of Safeco Home here in Hamden, Massachusetts, home of Fern Motorsports, and we're gonna meet up with the owner, Stu Fern, as he gives us a little bit of tour of his own race shop. Hey, how we doing? Welcome. What's up, Stu? How we doing, Bonza? Can't complain, man. Love Thank you shake. for having us over here. Yeah, love to have you. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I mean, how long you been doing this here at Safeco Home? I mean, we've been doing this 19 years. Uh, that's when I started the business. Uh -huh. Seven years in this building. The, uh, we used to be in Enfield, and we just outgrew it between all the race cars and everything. Right. So I ended up buying this. It's big enough to house all the race cars and uh, the whole business. So You've got three race cars, right? Yeah. We make money in the front, spend it in the back. <laughs> it's that I like that. You know, this is the money-making part of the operation. We do spray foam insulation all over, you know, Massachusetts and Connecticut within about an hour, hour and a half of Springfield. Mm -hmm. We have four pieces of equipment. We do open cell and closed cell spray foam. Oh, you know, okay. just this winter we did uh, both Todd Owens and uh, Keith Rocco's shops. Here's the shop. First of all, you have so many panels. Yeah, yeah. Over the years, you know, the uh, we reskin the cars every year, right? Uh, as you see, so. You know, we, we made a little bit of a collection. We do a lot of this stuff ourselves. Um, we just keep paint supplies in here. Here's nuts and bolts and stuff. You know, uh, in the fridge, we got all kinds of drinks. So Bonza, this is some of the stock that we use. This is one inch square. Um, you know, we'll use that to make door bars uh, or reinforce little things on the bumpers, this and that. Uh, this is a uh, band saw. We just, uh, it's pretty cool. We, uh, you turn it on here and it cuts through the material. We can go do something else while we start it. And when it goes down and finishes, it turns itself off. MIG welder, we do all of our own welding and stuff. You know, these are just random parts that we have here uh, waiting to use. You guys have two lifts in here. Tom Fern said, the, uh, well, I'll buy a lift if you buy a lift. Okay, so now I guess now we gotta get two. We're old guys now, really. So it just uh, makes things a lot easier. So let's say, for instance, we need to pull the tranny or you know, do something like that, or we were in tech last night and they pulled the tranny, we gotta put it all back together. So that's way easier, you know, just on the lift. That's a sandblaster. There's gloves in there, all right, to yeah. hold your part and sandblast your part. This was Paula Root's car, so the reason I bought it, because I knew we'd have no problem with tech, all right? So that was number one. So those are the original quarter panels from Paul's limited late model? Yeah, yeah. This is a coil spring tester. And, you know, we, we use it to check the rate on the springs. This measures the force and this measures the distance. A digital um, uh, micrometer here. Mm -hmm. And it's a hydraulic jack. Mm -hmm. It wow. measures the force yeah. that it's going at. And then you divide by the distance you traveled. Right. And then you get... Uh, you know, pounds per inch on each individual spring. I see, is that Alex's wing? Yeah, that's the wing. All this stuff in, in uh, you know, the parts can get mixed up a lot. So mm -hmm. everything over here is off her car pretty much. All right, uh, over there we have a whole shelf. That's all Ryan's. So this is Ryan's box, that's his notes. You wanna see that, it's top secret. You can read all my notes, all right. Uh, these are all, those are the bearings that are going in his car. Those are the brake you know, pads, that's the shock off his car. So these are electronic scales and these pads, uh, we put one under every tire and we roll it on, all right? And, uh, and that measures the total weight of the car, left side weight, but the most important thing on the scales is the cross weight. So this is a sheet metal brake. Um, it's, I think six, six feet long. And uh, so we use this to bend sheet metal. You know, this is a press, we use this you know, regular automotive shop would have this, press bearings in and out. We also use it on the race car to straighten out door bars, whatever, stuff like that. These are must have, you know, spare parts. The front valence has to be five inches off the ground at all times. Oh, right height. So, right. So we put the nose on pretty close, a little bit higher than it has to be. Mm -hmm. And then you put this on and you could, it's movable here. So you slide it down till it's exactly five inches and then you're good to go. This rear is um, out of a, uh, uh, a Granite State car, all right? Oh. This car, this one is uh, out of one of the late models. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Is this the pit cart for both you guys? Do you guys share the same pit cart? Yeah, yeah, we both share the same pit cart. Uh, the late model, they do the infield pitting. Yeah. And um, 
So we, we share pit stalls, so we'll try to get two next to each other just in case there's a catastrophe and we both have to come in. One of the late model motors? Yeah, this is Tom Fern's uh, late model motor, rad auto machine, uh, you know, super, super um, reliable, makes good power, great power. Yeah, tire machine, this is a luxury. Uh, we, uh, we got that maybe a year or two ago. Uh, you can change them by hand, but this is just a little bit quicker. So with the dice up here? That is from uh, the highest paying late model race ever at Stafford. Uh, Ryan won in his rookie year, he won the 50 lapper. It had paid almost 3,500 bucks. Hmm. So it's a momento from that. Now we're up here on the second level. There's the three cars down there. And now we are up here. We have a, a jig here to check stuff, frame jig. Uh, but yeah, spare body panels. These are our spare wheels and whatnot. Yep. Anything that we're not gonna use super frequently, we'll put up here and uh, just keep it out of the way, but on hand. Well, Stu, really appreciate you having us here at the shop. Thank you so much. You gotta watch out for the ferns. They're a contender every week they come here. We'll see what happens, but you gotta be sure to watch this yellow 12 late model, the black 92, if it's black next year, and the orange and black limited late model number 12.